Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. In this uh, video session, we are going to discuss how to handle bundling in ASP.NET MVC. So, we are going to discuss about bundling in MVC. So, the first important point about bundling. So, actually bundling is a technique used in uh, web applications to reduce the number of requests request to any page. So, while working with uh, CSS and uh, JavaScript files. So, bundling is a technique used in web applications to reduce the number of requests to any page while working with CSS and JavaScript files. It is nothing but if you are using some CSS and JavaScript files with your web page, then uh, the external CSS and JavaScript files need to be accessed and used in your page on a new request. So, if number of requests for any page increase, then the page load time increases. So, we need to improve the page load time by reducing the number of requests. So, let us see how we can reduce the number of requests to page. So, while working with CSS and JavaScript files in our ASP.NET MVC. For that ASP.NET provides a framework called web optimization. This web optimization framework will provide the namespace system web optimization. It comprises of all the classes that are responsible for configuring and creating bundles. The commonly used classes for configuring and creating bundles, we have a bundle collection we have a bundle table, we have style bundle, a script bundle, we have scripts and styles. So, system web optimization will provide a set of classes that are responsible for configuring and accessing the bundles. Actually, these classes that are defined under this system web optimization are responsible for configuring the bundles. The main concept of bundle is nothing but we can group all CSS and JavaScript files into a virtual bundle or their references into a virtual bundle. So, that request will come to a bundle and uh, response will be from all the files in the bundle. So, request will be one and response will be from many files. So, how do we configure the bundles and how do we handle the bundles we will see. For that we need to know about these classes. Bundle collection is a collection of style and script bundles. You can have a collection of style and script bundles by using bundle collection. Bundle table is a static holder class which is used to hold the references of all the bundle collection present in your application. So, bundles are stored in a bundle collection and their references are configured in a bundle table. Style bundle is used to create a bundle with a collection of CSS files. Script bundle is to create a bundle of JavaScript files and the scripts is used to render the scripts and script bundles, styles is used to render the style bundles. So, 
bundle collection will have the collection of all bundles, table will have the references, style bundle, script bundle are used for creating a bundle of styles and scripts and style scripts are used for rendering them in the page. So, let us see one simple example how we can implement this bundle. So, I will first go to the project in a, our MVC project in order to use bundling we need to add a NuGet package. So, we have to install a package let us go browse and uh, we will search for the package web optimization. Let us select the ASP web optimization, let us take the stable release and uh, install. So, we are now downloading and installing web optimization framework which is required for handling bundles. To configure the bundles and to access the bundles, we need some set of classes that are defined under this framework, you need to download it. Okay. Now, we need to choose all these references then ok and accept the terms to install these packages. So, we are downloading and installing all the packages online right once it is downloaded. Now, you can go to the references you will find a web optimization here. So, we downloaded the references for web optimization. Now, let us go to a project and add a folder. I am adding a folder and let us name it as styles. Okay. In styles folder, I am adding two style sheets. So, one is headings. In this style sheet, I will just put some heading styles. So, some background color, so some green, yeah, so color, some white and text align, some center. After defining one uh, heading style, let us add another paragraph, uh, another style sheet by name paragraphs and this will have the effects for paragraph. So, text align I will put justify and uh, so, some background color, some yellow. So, we have two style sheets and we need to use these two style sheets in our page. So, we have a controller, let us add a controller, let us take an empty home controller. So, in the home controller for index action, I will add a view, let us add an empty view. Okay. In this view, we have some heading and uh, let us put some paragraph. Now, I want those uh, heading and paragraph styles to be used for this page. Usually, in order to use those style sheets, we need to link those style sheets individually and uh, now three requests will come. One for index, another for headings and uh, paragraph CSS files. Already we discussed if number of requests are increased then the page load time will increase, we need to reduce the number of requests. So, let us see how we can create a bundle and configure the bundle so that through a single bundle request we can access all the files. So, for that we need to go to app start folder because bundles are configured on application startup into app start I will add a new class and uh, let us name the class as uh, bundle config. In this bundle config, so I will import system dot web dot optimization and uh, I will create a method a static void method called register bundle. So, a static method for uh, loading all the bundle collection into a static bundle table. So, we are creating a static method register bundle and uh, into this bundle we will pass a bundle collection. I will just give the reference as bundles. So, now the bundles 
collection contains the collection of all style and script bundles so that later they can be added into bundle table reference. So, how do we create a bundle in register bundle method? Bundles dot add because it is a collection, I want to add a new style bundle. Style bundles will have a reference name as virtual path, I will give the name as styles. In styles, let us put the, the name as effects. So, in styles folder, the bundle name is effects. This effects bundle is going to include dot include, it is going to include two style sheets. One is tilde slash styles slash headings dot CSS and another is uh, styles slash paragraphs, paragraphs dot CSS. So, we are including these two style sheets into a bundle and we created a new style bundle by name effects. It is the virtual path of the bundle and into the bundle we are linking these two style sheets, heading CSS and paragraph CSS. So, paragraph CSS, heading CSS. You can see in styles we have those two, we are linking those two CSS files. So, we created a bundle by name uh, effects and into the bundle we have included these two CSS files. Now, this bundle reference must be added, this bundle reference must be added into, into a bundle table. So, that you need to configure in global.asx. In the global application class file, I have to import using system.web.optimization and uh, using here our application bundling demo.app start because it has that bundle config. Now, on application startup, what we have to do is on application startup, so we need to call register uh, bundle configuration, bundle configuration bundle config dot register bundle. We have to access the register bundle method and we need to create a bundle table, bundle table. Into the bundle table, we need to add all the bundles. So, we created a bundle table and we are loading all the bundles into this bundle table, means all the references of bundle are defined in this bundle table. So, bundle config is a class where you have a register bundle method. In the register bundle, bundle method, you created a bundle collection. That bundle collection is now added into the bundle table. That means, on application startup, the bundle table is ready to configure and access the bundles. Now, how we can access the bundle in a page and refer the bundle here? So, I am initially defining I have to import the namespace system dot web dot optimization and to access the bundles, we have to use the function, we have to use the class styles dot render and the bundle name. So, the bundle name is tail slash style slash and effects that is the bundle name. So, now the request for the page will be two, one request will be for index, another request will be for bundle and the response must be from all the files in the bundle. We are not linking the files directly here, we are referring to a bundle. Let us run this and see now. So, when you are using and configuring the bundles for the CSS files, if the CSS files are rendered perfectly into the page those effects are applied to our heading and paragraph. We will see how the response comes from the bundle. Now, you can see here the headings and paragraphs are applied to this page. That means, the styles are rendered perfectly from the bundle. You can see in the page source, when you look at the page source, let us open the page source. You can see in the page source, the result of those two CSS files. So, they are configured with the linked element here. You can see headings CSS and paragraph CSS directly defined here. 
So, we are not linking the files directly, we are just accessing the bundle and using the bundle. This improves the performance of a page. This is a basic thing about bundling in ASP.NET. Thank you.